Hello everyone, I am Ratan Babu Tilsuri, Assistant Professor, Electronics and Communication Engineering from Chaitanya Deep to be University. Today I am going to explain Oscillators Introduction, Applications, Advantages, Classifications. Before going to classifications, what is an oscillator? Many electronic devices requires a source of energy and operate at a frequency which may range from few hertz to several megahertz. This is achieved by an electronic device is called an oscillator. And an oscillator can produce oscillations of desired frequency. And an oscillator can produce sinusoidal oscillations and non-sinusoidal oscillations. What is sinusoidal oscillation? It is an oscillation in the shape of sine wave as a function of time. What is non-sinusoidal oscillation? It is an oscillation in the shape of square, triangular, rectangular, sawtooth. Based on all these oscillations, we can define an oscillator act as wave generator because it can generate sine wave, square wave, triangular, rectangular, sawtooth. So that we can define an oscillator may also act as wave generator. An oscillator is an energy converter. How it works as an energy converter? Simply it receives the DC energy and changes it into AC energy of desired frequency without any external AC signal as input. Hence, it acts as DC to AC converter. Now let us look into applications. Oscillators mostly applicable in televisions, radios to generate the high frequency carrier wave. Dirt is to produce quality of signal as output and also used in audio and video systems and to generate the clock pulses for microprocessors and controllers and used in alarms, computers and also to operate the decorative lights, dirt is dancing lights. Now let us look into advantages of oscillators. It is a non-rotating device. Due to the absence of moving parts, the operation of an oscillator is quite silent and it can produce the waves from few hertz to several mega hertz. That means the waves nothing but here, sine wave, square wave, triangular, rectangular or sawtooth. So all the waves or operated with a frequency from few hertz to several megahertz and the frequency of oscillations can be easily changed into desired one and it has high frequency it has good frequency stability these all are major advantages of oscillators now let us look into characteristics of an oscillator it doesn't have any external input signal. It produces the AC output waveform using DC source. It consists of one positive feedback network and it contains a basic amplifier. An amplifier is designed with a positive feedback is simply referred as an oscillator. And what is the need of positive feedback for an oscillator? The positive feedback can provide the phase shift of 180 degrees for an oscillator to satisfy the oscillation condition. And an amplifier is designed with the negative feedback is simply called as feedback amplifier. Then what is the negative feedback advantage in feedback amplifiers? The negative feedback can be used to reduce the noise and decrease the distortion, avoid the noise and increase the input impedance and decrease the output impedance. These are the advantages of negative feedback in feedback amplifiers. Now let us look into 
classifications of oscillators oscillators are classified according to the output waveform frequency range and type of circuit according to the output waveform that means based on the shape of output waveform an oscillator is basically classified into two types one is sine wave oscillator the second one is non sinusoidal oscillator or relaxation oscillator the other name of sinusoidal oscillator nothing but harmonic oscillator and the other name of non sinusoidal oscillator nothing but relaxation oscillator it is an electronic device its output is in the shape of sine wave nothing but sinusoidal oscillator don't forget if the output is in the shape of sine wave is simply called as sine wave oscillator the sine wave oscillator for the class we into two types damped oscillations and damped oscillations what is damped oscillation the damped oscillations are electrical oscillations whose amplitude goes on decreasing with the time that is shown in figure and coming to one damped oscillation it is an electrical oscillation whose amplitude remains constant with the time so these are the further classifications of sine wave oscillator one is damped oscillation the second one is undamped oscillation damped oscillation nothing but whose amplitude goes on decreasing with the time undamped oscillation nothing but whose amplitude remains constant with the time examples of sine wave oscillators the examples of sine wave oscillators are hartley oscillator paul pitts oscillator rc phase shift oscillator and wayne bridge oscillators so all these oscillators can produce the output in the shape of sine wave now let us look into relaxation oscillator that means non sinusoidal oscillator the what is a non sinusoidal oscillator it is an electronic device which can produce the output in the shape of square triangular rectangular circle that means it can generates voltages and currents which may vary one or more times in a cycle of oscillation and the figure shows a square wave and which is varying along with the time and next figure shows a triangular wave and which is varying along with time the examples of relaxation oscillators are sawtooth generator and multivibrators these two devices can produce the output in the shape of square triangular sawtooth or rectangular according to the frequency range an oscillator is classified into five types one is audio frequency oscillator whose frequency range from 20 hertz to 20 kHz the second one is radio frequency oscillator whose frequency range from 20 kHz to 30 MHz the third one is very high frequency oscillator whose frequency range from 30 mega to 300 mega the fourth one is ultra high frequency oscillator whose frequency from 300 mega to 3000 mega here 3000 mega nothing but 3 giga and the fifth one classification nothing but microwave oscillator and whose frequency range is greater than 3 giga hz according to the type of circuit an oscillator is classified into two types one is lc oscillator the second one is rc oscillator what is lc oscillator it is an oscillator basically designed with the help of inductor and capacitor and these further classified into two types hartley oscillator and the paul pitts oscillator what is rc oscillator it is an oscillator and is designed with the help of basic elements resistor and capacitor and these further classified into two types rc phase shift and wayne bridge oscillator now let us look into barker's and criteria that is conditions of an oscillator the barker's and criteria is that in order to produce the undamped oscillations at the output of an amplifier 
then the positive feedback should be as follows that is the first condition is the loop gain must be unity that is a mod of a beta equal to 1 where a indicates gain of an amplifier beta indicate feedback ratio and the second condition is the total phase shift around the closed loop is 360 degrees or 0 degrees one of these two conditions are satisfied then the circuit acts as an oscillator thus for now we will discuss more in upcoming videos thank you